there were at least 30,000 Taliban in, you know, bunkered in, in between where I got, our guys landed in Afghanistan and Masri Sharif that we had to, our guys had to fight through. So it was our 12 guys, 12 Americans, and sometimes it would be 50 Northern Alliance, sometimes it would be a couple of thousand, but that was usually about it. And at one point, um, they, were, they were outnumbered by over 5,000 to one in Tiangi Gap. So one of the almost miracles, the, the major things that, ha- that happened is all 12 of the Americans of ODA 595 came home alive. We kind of had a, a history with, with Chris, and we just felt like he was, he'd, he'd be, you know, really good for it. He'd be really good for the part because he's physically commanding, yet he was vulnerable as a character because he, he had never been uh, to battle before. And he, he needed to be a leader, yet have weakness. He wanted the movie to have a lot of scope and to have a... A, a, a real uh, kind of point of view to it without it being too stylized or overly stylized so it didn't lose reality. So I think he was successful in accomplishing that. I think it has a real sense of, uh, it has a great sense of reality, but at the same time, it's visually stunning.